Hey guys, so I'm sitting here um, at home finally. We've we've been gone for the week. We've been at my sister's house, and um, although that was great, I was worried about being home and what was happening to my house. And uh, I will tell you, this week has been a flood of emotions, and I don't know that I've ever experienced emotions like I did this week. I mean, I, I would just sit there and do nothing and all of a sudden start crying and and if you know me that's not me <laughs> that's not me at all and so I kind of wanted to shoot this video really quickly because it's making me think a lot about this week and the storm and what all it's doing to people and what it's what emotions are stirring up inside them and um, where people are now in life and we're talking about two states here and we're not talking about Myrtle Beach and Horry County by itself. We're talking about two complete states. Uh, I just felt like this for five days. And yesterday I got home and honestly, I cried happy tears that my house was still here. And a lot of people have said this past week, Jenny, it is, they, there are things. The most important things in life are you and Camden and, and getting you two out and safe. And absolutely, I agree with you wholeheartedly. However, until I was in that situation, I didn't realize the feelings I would have for my things, for my house, for everything I've worked towards in my life and, and it being gone. And if you've seen anything on Facebook, you've seen where I've talked about how I felt like I was chased by a turtle to my death. And I swear that's the feeling I had. That's slow, ongoing, I don't know what's going to happen in the next three days with the rest of my life. And... It sounds crazy to talk like that because we are talking about things in your house, but when you work so hard to have things, uh, you work so hard to, to have put your family in the place where they are in life and to have that swooped out underneath you in a couple of days is just a devastating feeling. And so now that I'm sitting home and my house is here and I really have had nothing wrong with my house, I am so thankful and blessed for the fact that we, we kind of got out free and clear. And I see everyone on Facebook and I see people on social media who are talking about how Conway is flooding and, and we need sandbags. And if you have any extra sandbags at your house, please take it down to Conway because they're worried about flooding. I've got a friend who's moving out of his condo right now as I shoot this video because the river he lives on is rising and it's about to flood his property and everything has to be put up in the top and I have people that are stuck out of town because the rivers are overflowing. There's people in Socastee who I had another friend shot a video last night of um, driving through a neighborhood in Socastee that flooded two, two years ago during Matthew and all of these homeowners in this neighborhood have U-Hauls in their driveway packing up everything in their house to leave because everyone says that this hurricane, this flood is going to be worse than it was two years ago and it continues to stir emotions in me because I, I'm such a control freak that I just want to fix the problem and sometimes problems are bigger than us as human beings and um, I, I'm still processing that I guess uh, we can do what we can do and what that means is we've got to help our neighbors we've got to take those sandbags to Conway we've got to offer up a house uh, to stay in uh, help uh, clean up afterwards there's going to be a lot of devastation a lot of things we can do but i i'm begging you that we all come together in, in all of these states and and help each other um in this time of need because it's a feeling that i've never experienced before and um i hate that anybody else would be experiencing it also so if you have any ideas, comment on this video. Um, let us know what you're doing. Uh, maybe others can come in and share and help too. Uh, if there's a place for financial give, sometimes that is how people give because time is not on their side. Uh, if there's a place that needs a financial assistance, let us know. Post it on here. Uh, a place that needs help in hand to rebuild, to clean up yards, to uh, possibly babysit, dog sit, whatever it is. Uh, people really, really need help right now. So any comments below would be great and hopefully it'll get shared across uh, maybe this two states. Hope you're having a good, good night.